The following are the Paladin voice tests to be delivered immediately to Mr. Howard Barnes. Paladin voice test number one. And come back to the Hotel Carlton next time you're in San Francisco, sir. Oh, good evening, Mr. Paladin. Evening, George. My key, please. Good evening, Mr. Paladin. Good evening, my dear. How nice to see you. Is it? Haven't you been avoiding me lately? Well, not at all. It's just that I've been out of town. Mr. Paladin! Mr. Paladin! Over here, hey, boy. You'll uh, pardon me, my dear. But perhaps you'd wait for me in the lounge. If you don't take too long. I won't. Hello, hey, boy. Oh, yes, sir, Mr. Paladin. I look for you. I get your papers from all places in West, like always. Fine. Put them in my room. I'll be up later. Right now, there's a young lady who... Oh, but I think something you want to see in this journal from New Mexico. I mark, um... Here. Yuri. Hmm. It looks like they need Mr. Paladin and his gun, huh? Maybe so, eh, hey boy? Thank you. Uh, now, get me pen and paper, please. Oh, yes, sir. Right away, right away. Good, good. Uh, you send cards, uh, have gun. We'll travel. Well, my name's Paladin. I got your wire. Wire? Your name is Jesse Reed. Yeah. What about it? You and 20 of your men tried to take the town of Perdido, below the border in Mexico. And only five of you came back. Not in very good shape. As a matter of fact, I see you're still hobbling on one leg. How do you know so much, mister? Saw it in the San Francisco papers. And I sent you a card. Like this one. Huh. Have gun, will travel. Why, Paladin, San Francisco. I sent no wire... I have it right here. <laughs> a fast gun, huh? Fast enough. And what do you figure you can do for me? Dave Enderby's wanted for murder, and he's holed up in an outlaw town in Mexico. More important, he took your daughter with him. And when you went after her, he ambushed your men and shot you. I guess you'd like to see him again. Uh, if I couldn't bring him back with 20 men, how do you think you'll do it all alone? There are all kinds of tactics, Mr. Reed. Tactics? What? You're an ex-army officer? Among other things. Now, I know you breed. You've got to have action and money. Which uh, brings us to my fee. I didn't ask you here, and I ain't paying nothing. For Dave Enderby delivered to you? Breathing? How much? $1,000. <laughs> that gun comes high. It's a good gun. Crafted to my own specifications. Let me see it. Well, what do you know about that? I ask a man for his gun and he gives it to me. Why, oh, you overdressed tin soldier. You'd have about as much chance with Dave Enderby as a ribbon clerk. I'll have my gun back, Mr. Reed. Or I'll put a hole between your eyes. This Derringer may not look as impressive, but it's just as effective at short range. Thank you. All right. You bring me Dave Enderby alive, you'll get your thousand. But nothing on account. Only my word. And the word of Jesse Reed is enough, you understand? I don't ask anything more. And Dave Enderby shot his first man when he was 15. In the back. That's the only way he knows how to fight. I'll remember. Now, Mr. Reed, what shall I do about your daughter? Let us stay. All I want is Enderby. Very well. What's the road? Do south into the Sierra Grande. But you're a fool, Paladin. You might get in, but you won't get out. I couldn't. You won't. We'll see. Good day, Mr. Reed. <laughs> 